Hey girls, today I have a fun collective haul. These are things, a lot of them I've been compiling for a while and I've been meaning to film a haul, but I just felt like because I purchased like 10 new nail polishes and I'll explain why, I didn't think that would make a very interesting haul, so I was waiting until I bought more things, which of course didn't take long. So I've got a mix of beauty, a little bit of like skincare, well not skincare, but hair care, fashion from AliExpress, which I purchased from their anniversary sale recently. So yeah, also you might may know may notice that was terrible. <laughs> you may notice I have slightly different hair, new hair, new me. About halfway through the year. Great idea, Alexa. But yeah, I really needed the ends chopped off and I wanted something a little different, so I went shorter. And it's just because I've got all my hair here, but it trust me, it's like a perfect straight line from the back. It just looks a little um choppy at the front. It's not super different, but she cut off about that much off the ends. All right, so without further ado, let's get into what I've picked up. I will start actually with the hair care and then a little bit of skin care. So the first item, of course, I need a new shampoo. This is the like hair product that I get through the quickest. And I would say like every five weeks or, yeah, about every five weeks, I do need to pick up a new one. So I wanted something a little more natural, something that would be really good, but not re really expensive. So I went to TK Maxx. And normally I do just stick to boots, shampoo, because I mean, as long as it cleans my hair, that's all I need. But I thought I would see, you know, what they had on offer. So this was only six pounds and it's 500 mil. So yeah, it is a big tub. And I, yeah, I don't think I would need a lot of this. And also I got this from their natural range, which if you don't know, in store also TJ Maxx, they should have a little section that's, I don't know what it's called, like natural beauty or something like that, where it's more like organic, cruelty free, all of that kind of like better ingredients stuff. So this is from a company called Rata and Co. And this is funny, I keep meeting people from New Zealand or products from New Zealand and Australian products. And this is a New Zealand company. So that's interesting. I don't know what the universe is trying to tell me there. But this is the Shea Button Oat Kernel Shampoo. It says it's going to balance and tame your hair. So basically you get rid of frizz because at the roots sometimes, like any split ends or like if I have dry roots or something, bed, my bed head is pretty intense. So I just want to make my hair a little smoother. Hopefully this won't weigh it down with any oil or anything. So I'm interested to see how exactly it tames my hair. It's for flyaways and frizzy hair. It's got not tested on animals, no parabens or chemicals. So it looks like a very natural um, brand and product. Okay, I didn't actually open it or smell it in store, but I read, I mean, the description was good enough for me, so. Oh, it has a very like clean soapy scent, which I didn't expect, but let's see what kind of ingredients they have. They have, okay, they do have like fragrance and a few like, I guess chemicals, but probably nothing super harsh. And then they have oat kernel extract like in the middle. So there's quite a decent amount of that in there. They, then at the bottom, they have things like shea butter and vitamin E. So the only thing is the shea butter may be a little bit heavy for my hair. So I'm not sure my hair type is perfect for this, but I will give it a go and hopefully it does make my hair a little like better conditioned so I don't need to brush it as often. Right, so excited to try that out. Let me know if you want a more in-depth review. I can do it on my blog. And then I did get a few samples. So I went to, oh, I can't remember the company, company name, but I found like a cruelty free, not cruel, well, yeah. Cruelty free, but also chemical free nail polish brand. And they did stock, it was like um, a little bit like Look Fantastic, that kind of website where they stock multiple brands. And this was one brand that was the cheapest. It was about eight pounds for a nail polish. And yeah, they also gave me two free samples of my purchase. So I thought that was cute. I mean, I'm probably not really gonna repurchase from these brands, but if they're really good, <laughs> then I might consider it. So the first one is from a brand called Bioficina Toscana, but perhaps that's Italian or Portuguese. Or <clears throat> <A leave. coughs> oh, this is a leave-in conditioner. It's got Tuscan kiwi. Oh, yeah, so it must be Italian. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's got Tuscan kiwi and vitamin fruit extracts. So yeah, it's just a leave-in hair conditioner. It's a decent amount, like at least one application. I'll probably just run all of it through the lengths of my hair when it's wet and see how that goes. And then another one I got is just shea butter. I, you know, that's always useful to have. So I'll probably, it's probably only enough for like one application for my hands. But this one is from the brand Demeter or is it 
Martina Gerbart, but yeah, it says two different names here, but yeah, shea butter is always a good idea. So the actual products I picked up from this website. So the brand itself, I can't recommend yet, but obviously I will review it once I start using it. I'm still trying to use up my older nail polishes that are toxic and may possibly give me infertility. However, they look cute, so I'm keeping them for now. So this brand is called Benecos, I believe is how you say it. It's again, probably European or yeah, must be European, like Spanish or something. And it says happy nails, green beauty, and it's also vegan, which I'm 99% sure means they don't test on animals. More natural, cruelty-free ingredients. So this, yeah, this was like the cheapest one. The bottles itself are very small, so I do understand the price difference there. However, this is in the shade Nordic Blue and it's got avocado and biotin. So on top of being free of seven, no, it's free of eight really harmful chemicals that other nail polishes have. It's also got some like, it's infused with pretty good ingredients. So even though it may not seep into my nails, just having it on the top of my nails uh, makes me feel a bit better. So yeah, it's free of eight chemicals, um, which are formaldehyde, camphor, colophony, phthalate, toluene, parabens, silicones, hollow organic compounds, and it's also 90% sustainable natural raw ingredients. So you cannot get more vegan with beauty products than this. I'm really hoping the formula is good. I also went by top rated. I think on the website this had like four out of five stars, which is good enough for me because I change my nail polish a lot. I don't really care how long it lasts. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through the shades. Next one is Mystery, very pretty, not quite nude, but a darker mauve pink. Then I've got Unique, <laughs> that's more of a nude. And I do like the more pastel lighter shades, which you'll be able to tell. My Secret, these were all, I believe, I don't know if they were eight pounds actually each. I think they were only four or five pounds. Yeah, they must, yeah, they were only about four to five pounds. Because I remember I didn't, I only spent about 30, 35 pounds in total for all of these. Next shade is Wild Orchid. And then I did pick up two, um, I'll show you those later actually. <laughs> One last product from that brand is a top coat. Because of course you need a good base and top coat that's also chemical free. If that's what you're interested in doing. Because... Yeah, there's no point just buying the one nail polish. You need all the products that you put on your nails to be chemical free. So this one is also the same. It's free of all the eight chemicals that I mentioned. And it's just called Crystal. So it's just a nice top coat. And why are there so many plain? Okay, and then also from that website from a different brand, it was hard to find nail oils or base coats that were affordable a lot of them were upwards of 10 pounds which for me it's a little bit much considering i'm gonna wash it off after about five six days however i did find one i think it was only seven pounds and it looks like a german brand it's got german writing here but it's called provida organics living nails base coat and this one is free of it's cruelty free I don't know what ingredients it doesn't have. It doesn't say here. However, I know it's also a natural alternative. It is free of at least five other chemicals, which is great. So it's also more of like a nourishing nail oil, but mixed in with a base coat. So I do hope it makes my nails stronger. Right, in terms of nail polishes, I did pick up two more from another very um, good chemical free brand. And this is sold in Holland and Barrett in the UK, but I just got these on eBay. Someone was selling them. Then brand new, they haven't been used, and these are free of seven chemicals. So again, another really great alternative. It's from the brand called Pacifica, which I think is a little more popular, a little more well-known. And I paid 12 pounds for both of these. This is slightly bigger than that one, so it's worth about the same amount. And I picked up a really beautiful nude, like ballerina slipper pink, and then a deep kind of, what, Kelly green? I don't know what it's called, but it's vegan and cruelty free, which again is amazing for me to support. So you've got London Tomboy, so me, and then this shade is called Immortal. So very excited about this new selection. Definitely want to build up all my nail polishes from scratch with these. However, I have spent a lot of money over the years on other nail polishes like these. So I don't wanna just throw them out or give them away. I don't want other people using them if I know they're toxic. So I'm just gonna use them, you know, Use a few up and then slowly throw them out. So I'd also recommend you guys doing that if you are interested in preserving your health. 
But yeah, then I picked up two more beauty items from Makeup Revolution. I normally go pretty crazy, go cray cray, on that website because they are so affordable and their products are very, very pretty. But I only picked up the essentials, which is a foundation because I'm running low on my current one. And I've used this before. You guys will have heard me rave about this in the past. The Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation F1. I don't know if F1 is from the cool or pink toned range. However, I think I need the pink toned one. Just, yeah, my, my skin seems to have a little bit of pink undertone. And if I use anything too dark, it completely is mismatched with my neck color. So I do need something very pale and light. And this formula is amazing, very, very creamy and easy to blend out. So that was about seven pounds, I think. And then from the Makeup Obsession range, which is like a sub-brand of Makeup Revolution, I got the Pure Bake Transparent Baking Powder. I don't have time to bake, I cannot be bothered. I am not an Instagram makeup guru, so I don't know, don't really care about baking, just wanna douse myself in powder and be matte and that's it. But I'm just gonna use this as a normal powder. I love translucent, um, what do you call this? Like loose powder because it just gives a much more natural finish, very easy to blend out, doesn't cake up ever. And I've never tried this one, but we'll see if it's good because I love drugstore ones and I'm not willing to spend money on the Bobbi Brown one because, or the Laura Mercier one, whichever one people use, because it's just powder. Like, I don't need to spend loads on it. But yeah, that I don't know the price of. It was probably only about five pounds. Okay, so those are all the beauty products. Very interesting purchases I've made. I hope I do enjoy using all of them. Next, I have some fashion items. So I am still waiting on some other purchases to arrive. This is the downside of buying from AliExpress uh, where they ship from China because it takes like at least two weeks for the items to arrive. So if you are like buying things for a wedding or something, don't know why I used that as an example, but if you're waiting for like something, you need it now, do not buy from that website because you may not even get it this year. Yeah, but they had an anniversary sale which happens once a year. And it's usually, I think, November around January, something like that. But they, yeah, they have loads of anniversaries, so they're always doing this. And I did pick up a beautiful handbag where I buy a lot of mine from. They're very, very affordable and they kind of follow all the current trends, but for a fraction of the price. This is like at my absolute favorite little handbag right now. I'm obsessed. I love, I love like the study of astronomy. I love I was about to say I love the galaxy, but <laughs> oh, this is not Guardians of the Galaxy, but I love the constellations, I love stars, so yeah, just anything to do with astrology and astronomy, I am obsessed, and it says Little Dipper, don't know what that is, Big Dipper, even though it says Big D. Um, yeah, okay, I didn't realise it's supposed to say Big Dipper, but it says Big D, that is hilarious, I don't care, I'm still going to wear this. <laughs> But yeah, so I think it's very cute. It's like a blue velvet um, design with some like embroidered little gold studs. And then it's got a nice gold chain. I think that complements the dark blue really nicely. So it's, even though it's very tiny, it will definitely fit your phone, your card, lip gloss, the small essentials that you need, not a lot. However, for an evening out when you're not bringing too much with you, definitely recommend it. It was only also like 10 pounds and I feel like it kind of looks like it could be designer so it does look more expensive than it really is. Last item is more homeware than fashion. However, it's something I love. I love anything in like satin or silk. So yeah, I also want my bedding to be like that. You may see I have like pillows and then my um, duvet cover here is more like a silky texture. However, I don't want to spend a hundred pounds on like real silk. So I'm a cheapo, so I went to AliExpress, but it's a very beautiful shiny grey silk. I think grey and like a muted darker shade like this go with anything. And yeah, I think it's very classy and understated, but super cheap. So I don't expect it to be good quality. I'll probably have to replace it within the year. However, I only spent 15 pounds on this and I think it is just one duvet cover. And yeah, you can find this anywhere on AliExpress. So very, very cheap and Really excited for all these items I picked up. Literally none of them were essentials or things I need. However, I hope you guys learned something from this, maybe got some inspiration for things you want to pick up. Do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed, if you like these kind of hauls. And I'll see you next time. Bye!